little bit red. So on to the action with the 10,000 people there at North Sydney Oval. Manly running from left to right. That kick it is paving them. Kelly takes that well and uh, what a good catch it was under a little bit of pressure. That's the halfway. Turns at dummy half. Some crackers going off in the background. Well, I must tell you that there is still a queue 70 yards long and um, well I was going to say massive. I won't use that term. It's a very, very large crowd. Broadhurst at the Cox. Invades the first tackle nicely back inside the Burns. Burns wrapped up. And uh, I think Philip Blake might know that he's had a game of football this afternoon. With Mitchell Cox in the form he's in. McCaffrey running well on the blind side. Ten yards from halfway. And that's offside against Manley. There's Boyd making a beeline for the ball receiver. Kelly to take the kick. Uh, not a player that I know particularly well. Barry, what do you know about him? Well, he's a local uh, player from the Brothers Club in the North Sydney Junior League. He's playing his third uh, year in grade football, and this is his ninth first grade game for the Bears. Gray. Always a bit of subterfuge every time Gray picks up the ball. Nobody gets it that uh, looks likely to get it. Capri, halfway through. Caves tackle a despairing one. Gray. Tackle in possession. McKinnon. Running from dummy half. Broadhurst and Gerard. Put the giant down. Gray. McCaffrey. Cox. Oh, it's a brilliant, incisive little run from him, but he runs into a wall of trouble there. McCabe was there to greet him. Gray from dummy half. Pass knocked down. Kick back. Play on, six to go. Mark Graham in possession, about eight yards out from Manley's line. McKinnon. How to use that giant hip of his as a, a pin. There's the shot, showing how close they are to the line. See your faces in the background. Some pretty solid stuff going in there in the way of the fence there. Vaught, the tackler. Mayo. He's in. Watch him come on the berth. He went surging through. That's only about five yards, but it's a great try. And a bit threadbare, the manly defence. See it again. That's the end of it. Let's see the head-on. McKinnon back into him. And that bolt was uh, too close to the line to be stopped. John Gray, round the corner kicker. No trouble at all with the Englishman. And North, a very handy lead. Five points to nil after five and a half minutes. Manly coach Ray Ritchie doing it a bit hard at the moment. He realises his team's got a match on their hands today. McCaffrey the feed. Good scrum win. Burns standing out. McCaffrey elects to go around. Made himself a bit of an easy mark there for the defence. Tate swung it out then to McKinnon. Luckman. Driven backwards in the tackle, up in uh, North Sydney Territory, about 20 yards out from their line. Simmons again. Back it goes for the kick, Kelly. Oh, they're offside, those North Sydney players, of course. Meredith has it. Back inside to Rebo. Rebo can't go around his man. bit off from both ways actually the player Graham didn't get away from Boyd and Boyd seemed to deliberately try to make a bit of ground see it again Just watch this now Graham takes a long while to get up as they all do these days 
sitting on him. All that part of it. Edie from a limited number of games, 24 goals from 37 attempts, 64.9%. Breeze just perked up a little bit. Will be whip and across him from right to left. That looks good. Up right over the black shot. So the score diminishes slightly. Not 75, Manly 2. Kelly on the restart. Drives that hard and low. Vought takes it. Vought elects to kick. It's a towering kick. Oh, gee, that is a real torpedo. It shows there's a little bit of breeze up there. Kelly hemmed in now. He's got to go with it. Only one player on side for them at the moment. Two now. Adam. The centre was a dummy half. Or Sydney all back on side now. Kelly. Gerard the tackler with Borton. McKinnon. He's got a sort of a kangaroo hop he does just as the tackle comes to him to knock that fire into the defender. There's the ball on the ground. And uh, McKinnon was set to fly. This telecast brought to you by Mazda and your local Mazda dealer. Well, there's a very clean scrum win, and at the moment the scrums are going 4-2 to two in favour of North Sydney. The penalties are 3-2 Manley's way. Mitchell Cox. McKinnon. Pass back inside nicely to Mitchell Cox. McCaffrey. Burns. Gray works the blind again with McKinnon. Big fella runs into a wall of defenders there. Loses the ball. Now Manley's chance to attack Thompson. Blake, beautiful pass there to McCabe. Lovely pass there to Edie. Who hits the line hard. He comes Levo on the outside. The pass has gone anywhere. Could end up with Moyes North. That was an awful pass. And Andrew Simons uh, comes up with it. And now Kelly. Graham Eady hit the line beautifully, penetrated well. Rebo wasn't quite with him through a pass that was not good. Well done, McKinnon. Nice to McCaffrey. There's Graham out in his own. And North Sydney really putting the cleanest through Manly at the moment in terms of attack. McKinnon pops the pass up the cross. Cross looking for support and Manly really on the rack at the moment. We've had 19 minutes. Grave a little kick through. I think Manly have come up with possession. Paul McCaffrey uh, on the ground with the North Sydney trainer back near the halfway uh, mark. There's McCaffrey. Four to two in the scrum so far, but this is John Grove's stat for the season. 115 from 215. Success rate 53.5%. There's another one. McCaffrey. Very nearly did Thompson there. Cox. Adam. Cuts out a man. Tate leaves it behind. Picks up Carey. And uh, uh, Dawson, he letting themselves down a bit. With some handling errors. Kulich. Boyd. Broadhurst gets it to Rebo. Referee had a good lock. Look at that one. Rebo up the sideline. Just over halfway. Boyd. Blake. Gerard. Popped the pass. It's gone to ground. North didn't have it. The bad pass was never on. Mark Graham. Gerard came in hard there. Gray goes the blind side. McKinnon, not a bad step for a big fella. Back to Gray. Nicely to Graham. Graham starts an opening and goes. Pass has gone astray. Back to Blake. And there's chances from both sides going begging here. Last pass letting them down. Meredith. Michael Blake. Dancing around. Now Broadhurst. Ever ready to take the ball up. 
former international in both codes, rugby union and rugby league, Stephen Knight. Presently the uh, conditioning trainer for the Manly side. There's Boyd. He's got a quiet opening of the game. Well, quiet in the sense of football involvement. He had a little altercation with McKinnon, which uh, <laughs> is not quite the ball. from Borton and Cross came in and just took it away and see it again Thompson on the board there it was a dead set steal and quite legitimate he won't have scored an easier one than that got a bit of pace from head on that's the aftermath of it And what a good place to score. And in the background, Kevin Wilson, the reserve grade North Sydney halfback, warming up. As the kick at goal is successful from Gray, and the score now surges away, North Sydney 10, Manly 2. Now, what's the upshot of that deliberation with uh, McCaffrey? Well, it looked like that uh, Willie said, go back and try up, see how you go. Uh, Wilson is still in the background here. Um, Willie very, very concerned. He's been up in the stand watching the game, but he's on the sideline now, so he's going to give McCaffrey, obviously, five or ten minutes to see if he can uh, handle the rest of the game, at least till half-time anyway. 27 minutes to go. Gray at dummy half. He's had a big influence on the game with his scrum possession. Five to two over Max Kulich at the moment. There's Boyd coming through hard onto McCaffrey. As the marker, he's entitled to do that, but uh, they've been getting themselves offside. Going before the ball was... The play the ball, there's another bit of bad football by North Sydney to just leave possession there. <laughs> Whitfield Premiership really hotting up now. Almost a cheer there as Manley come up with a win and the scrum comes back into board. And North Sydney in a little bit of disarray if they can get quick possession. Thompson, Blake, Edie, evades one tackle, caught by the leg, back inside to Blake. Blake steps beautifully, can't unload, he's tackled about seven metres out. Quillich, Thompson, Broadhurst, still going. I think the go was out then, moved the ball wide. And I'd like to see prop forwards interfering in what should be, there's a penalty. Starting to get off the tackle player, they had him for what seemed a uh, an eternity there, McKinnon. Well, directly in front, ten and a half yards out. Eighty. Up they go, and the score diminishes yet again. Kelly to restart for uh, North. Kerry takes that well and gets out towards the quarter line. That midfield. Kulich, Thompson, Broadhurst, who's playing well, but I would like to see him not get involved in three quarter line moves, particularly when breaks are on. Borden, he'll be wanting to atone for that horrifying blunder of having the ball stolen from him. By Cross, Thompson, McCabe. Tackling of Norse has been well up to standard. Long floating pass out to Boyd. It's a pass back into Morton. Morton on the travel. There's Blake. He's got some pace this way up too, I can tell you. Gave it to his brother. The pass to Gerard. Picked up. A nice way to Krillich. Krillich is only about 10 yards out. And he's lost the ball. Well, bless my soul. Back to Krillich. Another cardinal blunder. Well, the game's been played at an enormous pace. Play up and downfield, both sides making breaks, North making slightly more. It's a terrible pass from Gray that he gets away with. Ron Willie would be uh, pretty happy at the moment, I would think, the way things are, 10 to 4. 
at him. Well, a sensational opening 25 minutes of this game. Another bad pass from John Gray, but Tate's got it. The last tackle coming up. McKinnon's going to run at them. Manages to get it back into Graham, who runs off him well. That's right on the halfway line. Well, McCaffrey's uh, can't cut it any longer. He's injured. Yes, and uh, we'll be coming on with Kevin Wilson now, so obviously the change is coming. If McCaffrey has rib damage, it's, uh, it's Martin Meredith. That's a penalty to North Sydney. Put in correct feed. And loose arm. I put my own interpretation on the first part of that. The referee didn't signal incorrect feed. I said it was an incorrect feed. But Pillage had a loose arm anyway. Kelly with a... What can only be classified as a drop punt, the same as Brent will do. Now, an interesting time for North Sydney. If they can get a try before half-time, they'll have Manly well and truly on the rack. Whoa! Cross got held up top. His legs kept on going. Gray. Mayo. Move on at the moment. I see Graham nodding his head to Gray. McKinnon, hit hard by McCabe. Gray doing a lot of organising there at the moment. His cross running as a foil. Gray back inside. It's a try. And I've talked about it. A second to say before. Gray and Graham had that on from the word go. Two rucks before. When I mentioned it. They'd had a chat. And uh, it was only a matter of time before that defence was just split. Evie left behind. Graham through so easily. Now watch Gray. Beautiful bit of football. Sucked the defence to him. Graham Eddy left there. With, well, he probably should have been tackled before he got to that position. Oh, well, he's missed a simple one. That's a bit of a let off. But what a critical time to score it. 13 points to four. The restart of play. Edie drives it deep. Taken by Simons. And uh, one must say that North have looked an infinitely better side than Manly in this first half. McKinnon creating havoc. Popping passes left, right and centre. Gray. Cox. Again, a little knock on letting them down at the critical moment. There's another scrum win to John Gray. Ooh, and, Gray and Burns nearly through the gap board and just picked him off. Mitchell Cox, Hudegon in the background. Little kick through there. Going to be a race for the ball. Udi half volleys it. And that is the half-time break. And I reckon Manly have breathed a sigh of relief because they've been outplayed totally in the first half. An embarrassing situation for the Seagulls. We'll see whether they can get back. Stay with me in about two minutes' time. We'll be back for the second half. Manly restart the play. Edie kicks off. Burns takes it. And the measure of three tries to nil against Manly as a measure of the superiority of this North Sydney side in the first half. Barry's been in the dressing rooms. What's the story? Well, Manly have made two changes, Rex. Uh, Mark Broadhurst, a good uh, hard-working forward for Manly, has got eye problems. He's been blinded. He can't see out of one of his eyes from a knock he received. And uh, he's been replaced by Ian Thompson. Um, Marty Meredith, the Manly centre, is also off. He's got a thigh injury, and he's been replaced by Eddie Planton. Manly coach Ron uh, Ray Ritchie pointed out that they, they could have scored two or three tries, and so they should be very, you know, very much in the game, and so he's uh, set to work on that aspect of the game, Look, keep the mistakes down and tackle around the rucks. Ronnie Woolley, meanwhile, in the North Sydney dressing room, he pointed out that uh, the importance of this win to the club as regard to semi-final position, he wants them to use the wind and use the blind side. Right, well, there's uh, Planton involved with a tackle on Adam right from the outset. Thompson 23. Uh, Ian Thompson playing at number 23. 
kicked in. And Planton now in number 15 in place of Meredith. This will be fed by Wilson. There's the Max Krillich stat, 155 from 273, 56.8. Now the referee pointing to Wilson and telling him about how to put the ball in. All the halves do it, but that penalty count is pretty uh, massive. Eight to three, Manly's favour. And Krillich lying down the law out there at the moment. One and a half minutes in the second half gone. Kulich, Ian Thompson, ran as a foil. His namesake, Alan Thompson, who to my mind is just a little bit slow for a halfback. There's Gerard by the buff. Unloads nicely the ball. He's in the side of the post. Well, that's the way to hit back, I dare say. North Sydney 13, Manly 7. And uh, we'll see that again. Kulich, bought dummied and swivelled and just went straight through the tackle there of Graham I think it was and unloaded nicely to Borton beside the post from head on watch Gerard an old dog for a hard road yes through the Graham tackle he had uh, Boyd on one side Borton on the other Graham Eady from only about eight yards off centre and uh, ten yards out Well, it snuck away a bit of the goal, but uh, got away a little bit towards the right hand up by the score then. Uh, for two minutes of the second half, North Sydney 13, Manly 9. A restart of play, Kelly drives it deep, Kerry has it. Got beat across for a bit of a punch in the Kerry. A little Kerry. bit of a punch there, we'll just see that again to... Uh, have a look what the referee saw. There's the Carey incident. And that... Uh, oh, the business now of Gerard, midfield. Just his own side of halfway. Okay. Terry, Thompson, Blake, gets to his feet, not tackled, on to Borton, he's certainly trying desperately to steal the ball there, there's Boyd, running sideways, oh and a bad pass, Michael Blake scoots it up, evades the tackle of Mayo, Jeff Gerard. And the kick over the top by he's really going to beautiful football from uh, Blake. Oh what a handoff! He may go over this, Summers is coming at him. He goes underneath the tackle of Simon. Manages to that's the six. Manages to stay in the field of play. What a clever bit of football. That's young uh, Philip Blake. Could be uh, feeling a little bit disappointed after his first half. A bit of fight for possession over this one. Penalty to Manly. Incorrect feed against Wilson. The, ten, the uh, penalty count now 10 to 3. Manly's favour. The scrums even it up a bit. They are 9 to 4. North Sydney's way. That breeze freshened up a little bit, Barry. It certainly has very much in North Sydney's favour now. Gerard is uh, certainly... Liven himself up in the second half. Kulich, Borden, hurling himself at the line. Must only be about a yard and a bit away. There's Kulich in. Kulich in. Banged the ball down hard. We'll see that clearly from the head on, I think. North 13, Manly 12. Manly two tries in the space of seven minutes. So watch Kulich. There's the Borden charge. He finished up only about a metre and a half away. Well, how did that ball come out of there? The head-on shot will show. And we'll have a look at the, the side-on shot again. Borton on the charge. 
and he's held up there and the ball is stolen I think by Norston he played the referee wave six to go I believe it should have been a penalty from head on now watch Morton and watch the arm of a North Sydney player at that point it was well free and the referees called six to go I'm doubtful whether Krilic actually got the ball down it's a very dicey bit of refereeing the kick and goal is unsuccessful Score remains 13-12 in North's favour. But that's going to be a controversial one. Yeah, several of the North Sydney uh, players disagreed with referee Braybrook over well, that try. Well, players and... always will, Barry. I mean, uh, no, there's not a footballer on the football field ever tells the truth. Yeah, well, that's, of course, if that makes Of any era. But they, they did, two or three of them had something to say to him and uh, Captain Mark Graham had to restrain uh, several of them. Right, well, we're back with the action and it's uh, North Sydney hanging on to a one-point lead. Oh, there's Edie Sarna pass. It's been intercepted by Adam. It was never on. What an absurd pass to throw. Ten yards, 15 yards from your line. And an international throws a pass like that when he's half-tackled. And beautiful work by Adam, he uh, juggled the ball in his hand. Now watch it. Look at that. It was never going to get to Blake at any stage, was that one? Right underneath the post. Now Edie, reflexes like a cat. Adam after that one. He's chased by Platten and Platten. And I think, I must say, I believe a little bit of injustice has been done there. John Gray. 18-12. Gray kicks back to open the angle. Cold as hell here at North Sydney, let me tell you. McKinnon. He's had a powerhouse game today as well as I've seen him play for four or five years. Right. Wilson. Cross. Useful player. Mitchell Cox out to Gray. Flicked on the inside to Graham. That was a Brian Lockwood pass to Neil Pringle at Leichhardt Oval several years ago. 1976 uh, MK Cup final, yes. Gray. Mayer. Graham. Manley on the rack again. The big North Sydney forwards powering through. Ray. Cross. That's a double movement, evidently. See that again? We'll look at it from side on and head on. Now Gray got a beautiful pass away to Cross. He got himself right into a gap. At that point, he went for the big stretch, which we can't see. It was obscured, so we'll see the head on. And this is the action from that. Here's Cross, in behind the defence. Oh yes, no argument about a double movement there, good decision. Thompson. McCabe. 17 minutes, 18 minutes of play gone. Pillage trying to marshal his troops. Gerard. Four tries to two though, Krilich, a little dummy, this time he holds the ball. Thompson, out to Thompson, Blake, onto his brother Blake, out to Plant, Plant in the side to Rebo, Rebo on the accelerate. Driven to his knees by a copybook tackle from Burns. Gets up, plays it. And then passes himself to Boyd. It's Blake. Nearly losing the ball. That's the six. I tell you what, this game has not been short of incident. Well, they should be penalised. They've been told to get back now three times. 
That is what you call lunacy. But you don't get back up here warned three times by the referee. Over the halfway mark, 21 and a half minutes gone this second half. Kelly's kick. McKinnon lost the ball, Gray has it. Gray is backslammed hard by Boyd. Quite legitimate. Strikes for the ball, Gray flying punches at Boyd. I don't know what the story was going to be with that. I don't believe Boyd did anything illegal. He struck for the ball, which he's entitled to do. See the incident again. Now there's the tackle. And Boyd gets up, and he's allowed to strike for the ball. The ball is on the ground. At that point, John Gray took exception to it. I must agree with the referee on that occasion. Uh, Boyd is entitled to strike for the ball, which he did. It was on the ground. And Gray, being an old stager, resented the fact that I think he was upstaged a bit. Liam Thompson coming perilously close to being offside there. 18 to 12, the score in favour of North Sydney. There's another pass down. The errors coming thick and fast as McCabe spilled that one. Luckman. Burns. Ten yards outside his quarter. Luckman again. Good elusive, hasty winger. Jay Gray. McKinnon. Nice pass back inside. Have you seen McKinnon play better than this, Barry Ross? No, I can't recall that, but I have. Actually, he scored uh, three tries for City seconds a few years ago, but that was against, only against Cutter. He got it, the same sort of opposition as this. Mitchell Cox scooping up that loose ball. Gets a pass away to Adam. Adam gets it out there to Tate. Tate's on the boil. Trying to get a one-hander away. Couldn't do so. Wisely stuck with it. Now, North Sydney. Burns. Still gets his pass away. Who's that? Kelly. One-handed pass. McKinnon loses it. Carey's got it. Action of plenty here at North Sydney. On the quarter. The crowd jumping up and down. Rising. And had the lot. Thompson. Ian. 18-12 the score. We've got a replacement on the sideline. Looks like uh, Brown. Rebo's left that behind. Yes, there goes Brown on there, in number 16 for Manly. It could be for Les Boyd. Rebo's handling very bad on that occasion. Paul McCabe being taken off. Manly Pack being pushed all over the field. There's the scrap penalty. Is that Simon Brockwell warming up behind us, Barry? Yes, it is. And uh, the North Sydney trainer out with uh, John Annam at the moment. So probably that's the, uh, the exchange of players. Well, time running fresh out for this manly side. They've been fairly comprehensively outplayed for a great percentage of the game. Simon's the winger chiming in. Mitchell Cox evades one, two, three, he's going to score, it's a brilliant try, that's the clincher, I would think, Mitchell Cox with a great bit of break and field running, just carved the Manly team up, see it again, evaded Bray Brown, went inside Krillich, left Blake, no chance, and a great big dive, and from head on, what a top try. Change of direction. Ray Brown's only just come on, remember. Blake tried desperately to cover. That was a spectacular solo try. Gray. Yeah! And the roar 
this massive crowd here. Be doing our usual awards in this match, the best footballer. Will be called the King G Football of the Week. He'll receive four hundred dollars and appear on Sports World. All those weekly award winners will be judged by the controversy corner panel, and the overall winner will be named the Mazda Footballer of the Year. A magnificent Mazda RX-7 as his prize, valued at seventeen thousand five hundred twenty-four dollars. The player most responsible for the King G try of the match receives one hundred fifty dollars. The player responsible for the Mazda try of the Year, another great prize, the mighty Mazda six two six, valued at nine thousand five hundred sixty-four dollars. Or Sydney. Scrum stat 10-5. That's, I think, the biggest whacking that uh, Max Krillich... 12-5. Uh, I'm sure that's the largest whacking Max Krillich has had in several seasons. He hasn't been beaten too many times this year. Graham, right up the middle. Red there. Adam will go on and score. Oh, they're rubbing the song into the wound now. Awful. Defence by Manley. Right up the middle of the ruck. And that is 20... Uh, Six points for 12, and uh, look how easy this was. John Gray turned on a Mark Graham here, the quick acceleration for a big fella. And Adam backed up beautifully. Defence threadbare from head on. John Gray, he's done that on two occasions at a top game. There's Adam. It's going to be not an easy job giving an award today to this North Sydney side, I can tell you. There's so many good ones. And Gray's kick is successful. He's having a pretty useful day. North Sydney 28, Manly 12. Six tries to two. Blake kicks off, ball's gone the required distance. Ray Brown away to Mitchell Blake, bowls it along the ground to his brother, who should have been penalised there for holding a North Sydney player back. Boyd, who I view not have been fit enough to play in this game again for the second week in a row. Penalty. John Gray acknowledging it. I don't think he's terribly concerned, but look at this penalty count. It's 15 to 6 in Manly's favour. Board Thompson. Blake. So easy. And there's a, a belated try. The touch judge has just disallowed it. Well, he's a bit late. Better late than never. That's a ridiculous. <laughs> Good tackle by Kelly, whichever way you look at it. It might have been over the sideline, but the touch judge didn't rule on it early enough, so we'll say it was a good decision, rather belatedly given. But what a caning this North Sydney side have given Manly today. Have they smacked their bottom? Oh no, and they're not finished yet. Simons has gone up the sideline. He's got Edie. Edie's done him. That's a great bit of cover there by Graham Edie. I reckon Simons would give him, I reckon Simons would give him uh, maybe 10 yards and 100. McKinnon. And still the North Sydney Raiders, the Red Raiders of North Sydney, not the Grizzly Bears. Gray, had a quick look there as he passed that ball. Burns, knocked back. Mitchell Cox with a long looper. Look at this, they've got a million over here. And Kelly's in, wide out. Seven tries. Gray. Play broke down here, but still they come up with it. Mitchell Cox's pass was magnificent. Adams' pass to Kelly was equally beautiful. And despite the fact of being dragged over the touch in goal line, it was a try. Well, Manley be praying for the bell. Adam. Beautiful. Still had a man over. And Kelly in. One yard in from the sideline on the quarter line. Gray just hooked that away a fraction. 31 points to 12. North Sydney forwards again, let me repeat. 
have uh, really torn the heart out of this manly six today. And the crowd wrecks 10,530. 10,530 is a good crowd. Manly 15, North 13. Higher a rate in such a perfect day for rugby league, but uh, the other side comes up with seven tries to two. Five goals to three for a 31 to 12 scoreline. They're not going to be unhappy about uh, a penalty count against them, which is a fairly heavy one of 15 to 6. Edie feels it, goes back into the end goal, has got a fair way to come back, and fell like a tree. Brockwell and Luckman. I think it's uh, useless Ray Ritchie, the manly coach, saying to me as he did that they're leading the competition on 24, they can't be going too bad. Uh, there's something very vastly wrong with this family side. The wheel has fallen off slightly. All right, let's have a look at the try scorers. It'll take me 10 minutes to read them. North Sydney, Larry Kelly a try. John Adams two, Mitchell Cox one, Peter Cross one, Mark Graham one, Steve Mayo one, and five goals for John Gray. Their tally, 31 points for Manly. They scored two tries through Paul Borden and Max Kulich. Very doubtful one, the Max Kulich one. And Graham Eddy kicked. Well, you know, when you're at the top there, you're always a pigeon for somebody to knock off. It's, uh, people are going to lift themselves, and they always do against Manly, and there's bound to be one, one or two games uh, where somebody's going to get on top of them and run in that kind of score, because in this competition now, everybody is capable uh, of um, beating anybody else, and even by a big score. So I think it'll happen to them again, but I still think they'll be in the first three at the end of the year. Right? Well, one final question to my John Gray note. Uh, there's been talk about you being asked to go back to England to captain the England side. Now, what's the story? Well, it was actually through Rugby League Week. I saw a cable um, from Mr Hutton, who was the manager of the English side, and he said he was coming out not only to watch Australia's performance against New Zealand, but to come and talk to me about the possibility of going back. Now, how real that is, I don't know, because I've not spoke to him personally, so I'll just have to wait and see. Test side. Well, um, the three three uh, backs that have come over they're playing with Hull they had a very successful season they went to the uh, Challenge Cup final and oh, won yeah. it as you know yeah. uh, so they've got you know we've got some real speed out wide and uh, a lot of experience because they've played together for the whole season yeah. which is uh, a big advantage to us and um, I'm sure that once they get acclimatised they'll uh, produce some really good football Would you be actually living in uh, hotels with them or would you? Uh, just for the week prior to the test yeah. match yeah. And yet you're personally taking this very serious though Oh yes, yeah, oh yeah This yeah. is the honour of playing for your country Oh yes, definitely, definitely, yeah oh. and, and with the uh, rugby union tour last year the, the, there's been a big sway to rugby league at home so if we can if we can uh, do well in the series I'm sure that we'll get a lot more people over to it well I think you know the actual t you know going up you know because you've got a straight line defense uh, and you sort of tend to start running sideways more than you know, going straight up so but I, I'm sort of getting used to that and I thought it was the tackling at first but uh, I'm enjo enjoying the tackling and I think I'm handling that all right but I think mainly it's the, uh, the, the straight up defense I watched you against uh, the side you played last week, St George, wasn't it? That's right, St George, yeah. And you picked up a ball very late in the game and went very close to scoring, uh, which would have probably won the game. Yeah. It was exactly the same sort of situation that you got the ball in today. That's right, there was a couple of loose balls uh, today and last week, and uh, I just seemed to be on the spot there to pick them up, and uh, uh, I thought I scored last week, and uh, oh. <laughs> I was hoping to score another one this week. But, well, uh, you got your one today. That's right, yeah. That's your great attribute, you say, is it? You're split off the mark? Well, I say, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we've had a couple of good results against Manly in the past, but I think this is probably our best our best display this year anyway. Now, the likely loss of young McCaffrey for a few weeks uh, could be a serious blow with a rib damage. Uh, it is a blow. He's been playing extremely well. He's got all that pace, and uh, you can't buy pace. You know, if you've got it, you take it. Like, uh, uh, well, a bit, of, a bit of a worry, that. The way it worked out today, we couldn't have had a better replacement than Kevin Wilson, yeah. uh, leading 10-4 at the time, and Kevin's a great determined tackler. Yeah. We switched him up into the front line and put Burns back behind the line in McCaffrey's place uh, because he's a good hit on tackler. Like, that's a, a bad defeat today, Rick, but we were leading the Premiership up, all day, up to, till today, and we're still coming second, you know, I mean... There is some more, there's a lot of work there to be done, but there's no risk that we won't be there, we'll be there. Well, what sort of work is going to be done? I mean, are you going to make massive changes, or are you going to... Well, I'll look at the, I was, as I said, I wasn't sitting in a good bit, but I'll look at the tapes, and I'll go through those tapes, and out of that, out of the ashes, 
mate. We're still sitting second in the Premiership and we will be there. It was judged, was this one on young uh, Blake by Kelly, the uh, replacement uh, fullback in the North Sydney side. When I say replacement, by you... ...in that your father was a pop singer and you grew up having a dad 